Back in the cabin now, I want to show you through what the new flexible control systems look like. So this here, not that one, but this one here, there's the twin arrangement, but in the box you can see what we have is the single lever, so therefore this controls one engine and one gearbox. You take off the protective cover, which is, as you can tell by my struggling, a really tight fit. Excuse the poor camera work. Here we are. So this here is what the single engine looks like. Instead, with the high nautics of having two levers required, the flex balls simply just require one. You can see they're slightly smaller in size as well. As I said earlier, we do have adaption plates that are available. Difference being, whilst you've got one for gears and one for throttles on the old high nautics, the flex ball does it both in one. So you simply click it forward into a gear, click, and then you can rev it all the way up to full throttle, back to idle and forward, neutral, reverse idle, and then full revs in reverse as required as well. So this vessel is only ending up with two required stations. They don't require the third anymore. And as I come back around, as I said earlier, this system here is called the 4500-EM12. E, again, meaning that it is connecting to two to an electronic engine. The M meaning to connecting to a mechanical gearbox. So as I explain that to you here, this throttle one here connects to the electronic engine via CAN bus. The gearbox connects through this mechanical arm situated just on the side here. So the way this operates is you have the cable input coming in through here, which clamps on the sheath here. It connects into this piece just here which therefore is the actual movement of the internal uh, shaft in the Morse cable. It's locked into position, which means that it will operate from the motor inside for the three positions forward, neutral and reverse, or in some instances forward, neutral and reverse. But you can always flick this switch and it unlocks it to mean that you've always got a way to mechanically control the gear actuation as well. Going back to the front, it's multi-volt, so you can accept in anywhere from 9 to 32 volts, so we're well and truly covering 12 and 24. This is the CAN bus output, which connects in a daisy chain arrangement to your two uh, throttles in this instance. And this here is the um, start interlock harness switch, which means that if it is ever stuck in gear, in forward or reverse, it will never, ever, ever allow the engine to start. It's provided as standard, but whether you choose to use this function is completely up to the vessel owner and installer. Here we have the throttle input harness to suit the fits. There's that one there. The supply plug, which is which comes, which just simply requires a positive and a negative. We do advise people to connect it up to uh, an ignition source so it does turn on and off with the engine. And when it does that, it actually resets this back to the neutral position anyway. Every time it powers up, it automatically returns back to the neutral position. The other thing supplied here, here is the start interlock harness, which is just a two wire harness, which either creates an open or closed circuit. And here we have an example of the 10 meter extension harness and the T-splitter required in the middle to make the daisy chain. Thanks very much for watching everyone about the Flexible 4500 EM12 system. As I said, these systems are available for most makes and models of engines and gearboxes, uh, and THT are always here to support and give you any advice or information you require uh, prior to purchasing. Or thereafter, we're always here to support. We do carry a large stock here in Perth, Western Australia. Thanks for watching.